Hi guys, so I'm really sorry if my eyes look a bit red. I was just trying to eat a fruit salad before filming this video and I started choking on it and I've been choking on this fruit salad for ages. My eyes started like crying and yeah. It was an ordeal. So today's video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be a current favourites video. Well, it's kind of like an August slash September favourites because we're already quite far into September. Um, but these are mostly like my August August favourites, so I don't know what I'm going to title this video. It's basically just my current favourites. So if you want to see the type of things that I've been loving in the past couple of months, then just keep watching. So my first favourite of the month is the Body Shop Body Butter, and this is in the strawberry scent. I have two of them here. One of them which I've been using and one of them which is the nice new one to show you guys and I'm actually working with the body shop to celebrate 25 years of their body butters my flavor of choice is the strawberry one which smells absolutely divine it smells like strawberry yogurt or like strawberry ice cream they're not edible by the way so don't try and eat them but um yeah this is the one that I've actually been using on my sunburnt shoulders because I don't know if you guys saw that when I was away in America I got really badly sunburnt um so my shoulders were like really dry and peeling so I've just been using this to try and like nourish my skin um but there's actually a really exciting opportunity for you guys they're holding a competition um all of the details are over on my Instagram so I'm not sure if you guys saw I did a little Instagram post which explained about the competition but you guys that can actually be in with a chance to come and meet me and like hang out with me at an event which is coming up soon so what you have to do to enter is head over to my Instagram you have to follow the body shop on Instagram and I will put their at on the screen it's just at the body shop and then what you have to do is regram or like repost my picture on my Instagram of me holding my little strawberry body butter with the hashtag Sophie X the body shop and I will have that written on the screen but if you want to make sure that you've got the rules right then they'll be written in the description box down below and also they're all over on my Instagram anyway so make sure you go and check that out I'm gonna get to meet some of you guys which I'm so excited about I cannot wait oh and the event is on the 21st of September so I'm so excited to be part of the my body butter campaign and yeah it's just been such a classic in my family for years I feel like everybody has tried the body shop body butter I could be wrong like every Christmas since I don't know since I can remember somebody in my family will have been either gifting the body butters or receiving them because there's so many different flavors it's basically like a moisturizer for your body you can't use it on your face but it's for every other part of your body so if you have any dry skin on your legs on your feet on your arms um, you just get a little bit of this oh this is a fresh one so all you literally do you don't have to like scoop out a huge amount of it or anything you literally just like rub your finger on it a little bit and then just like rub it into whatever skin is feeling dry and not only is it super moisturizing it also smells incredible and there's so many different flavors this is my little personalized one with my name on it but yeah I am the official like my body butter ambassador for the strawberry body butter I would highly recommend going into one of the shops and just giving it a smell because it smells divine so the next thing that is on my favorites list is the benefit Cabral in the shade 2 this is actually what I have on my brows right now and I discovered this in my um, testing my most expensive makeup video I absolutely love this stuff. This was what I wore for the whole time that I was on holiday. Um, let me just show you guys what it looks like. So you open it up and it's like a little pomade. As you can see, I've made a hefty dent in it for the time that I've been away. But this is just such a good colour. I think I just spat everywhere. This is such a good colour for me. Like it matches my roots so well. And it has a little brush in it. And this brush is actually a really good little brush. So this is pretty much all I've been using for the past like three weeks. Is this little Benefit Cabral. And it lasts all day it lasted in the heat of Florida didn't melt off my face it didn't smudge I think it's waterproof I'm not really sure it seems like it is um, and yeah I just thought it was so travel friendly because it comes with a little brush in the lid the next favorite of mine is actually a concealer this is the bourgeois radiance reveal concealer I have the shade ivory and I bought this because I was planning on testing out a bunch of different drugstore concealers because I am still planning on doing a top five or top ten drugstore concealers video um, so I just wanted to try a few new ones and I have absolutely been loving this. Again, I wore it so much when I was in America. Along with my Tarte Shape Tape, I've kind of been switching it up between them. But you guys know that I love the Tarte Shape Tape. I didn't want to mention it because it is so expensive and it's really hard to get hold of in the UK. Um, but yeah, I've been loving this bourgeois one as well. It's such a nice colour. The formula of it is so nice. It's not thick at all. It feels really lightweight, but it's really good at brightening under your eyes. I think I have used it in a couple of videos here and there. But yeah, I brought this one with me on holiday and I've really been enjoying using it. It just feels really like fresh on your face um 
And yeah, I really like it. It doesn't quite have as good coverage as my collection Lasting Perfection concealer on like blemishes and things, but for under the eyes, this is really, really good. So I would really recommend it. And I think it's about like 7 99 maybe. My next favorite is actually an eyeliner. And again, this is the only eyeliner that I took away with me. So many of these products, like you really figure out what products you like and what products you don't like when you go on holiday. So this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner um, in the shade Black. It's the one that's in the little like like pot with the brush um, and this stuff is so good I do love the NYX epic in ink liner but for some reason the past few times I've used it, it started to really bleed on my eyelids I don't know why it's suddenly done that it's like it exploded or something now every time I use it just so much product comes out that it bleeds which is really strange because you would think it would be the other way around and it would like dry up but yeah um, so that's why I decided to take this one but again this lasted through the heat and the sweat of Florida I wore this all day around Disney like literally all day I also cried wearing this liner and it didn't like run down my face when it starts to um, when it gets wet it kind of like crumbles rather than streaming which in my opinion is a good thing um, and another good thing about this is I've been having a really bad problem recently with this eye it keeps leaking out of this corner and I wore this the other day my eye was literally watering all day um, and it lasted a good few hours before it started to kind of like crumble away so I was really impressed with this eyeliner, I think it's a really really good one. It's super black and it's really easy to apply as well, so I would really recommend this. Um, the brush is also really tiny, which really helps, so yeah. The next favourite of mine is actually something that I used up when I was on holiday. This is another Body Shop product, this is not part of the sponsored part of the video, um, but you guys know that I love this stuff anyway. Um, and yeah, I completely used this up, well, there's a tiny little bit left at the bottom but it's kind of got like bits in it. Um, this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Mattifying Toner. I love this toner so much, this is the second bottle that I've actually been through so I really need to get my hands on another one because yeah it's just got a tiny tiny little bit left um, and I use this every single day in America, I'm still loving it. If you're new to my channel the Body Shop Tea Tree range is my favourite in terms of skincare, like it improved my skin so much. If you go back on some of my older videos before I started using these um, you can see like the difference in my skin and the toner is probably my favourite product just because I really feel like it makes a difference and I use this every single day. Um, so yeah, I used it up and I absolutely love this stuff still. I then actually have two mascaras to talk about. The first one is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. I tested this just before I went to America and then I forgot to bring it with me. Um, but since I've been back, I've pretty much been wearing this mascara like every day or most days. And I love it. I think it is such a good mascara. I really like how it makes my eyelashes look. It's super, super lengthening. If you haven't seen, I did do a whole video on this mascara. So go check out the review if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, it's just such a good one. From the drugstore. I think it's like £10 maybe. Um, but yeah, it's super, super lengthening. And also, another thing that I just wanted to mention, because I didn't say it in the original video that I tested, is that it doesn't um, like smudge during the day like onto your lower lash line or anything like that. I just think it's a really good drugstore mascara so and then the next mascara is actually a high-end one this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara I love the packaging of this because it has like water droplets all over it but yeah I used this um, for the second week that I was in America the first week I was in LA and then the second week I was in Florida and when we were in Florida um, we did a lot of sunbathing by the pool and I did a bit of swimming as well and I used this as my waterproof mascara and I love it I think a lot of the time it's really difficult to find a waterproof mascara that actually makes your eyelashes look good. I don't know if that's just me, but I really don't like waterproof mascaras in general. I just find that they don't give me like volume or length that often. But this one really did and also it was really waterproof. Like I went swimming with this, it didn't come off. And also on some like days it was so hot to the point where I literally had sweat dripping down my face and into my eyes and my mascara did not smudge. So if you're looking for a good waterproof mascara, this one might be pricey, but it makes your lashes look really good and it really works. The next favorite of mine is a lip product. This is the L'Oreal Lip Paint, the matte lip paint in the shade Off-White. Um, I actually have this on today, but over the top of the Nikki Tutorials uh, Duchess Liquid Lipstick by Ofra. Um, but yeah, I really like this lipstick. Again, I brought this on holiday with me. It's really moisturising, like, I wouldn't really call it matte. It's kind of like satin, but I feel like it has a shine to it as well, so yeah. I don't know why it's the matte formula, but I mean... 
it's really nice colour, it's a really pretty nude, and I've worn this in a couple of videos again before, um, so just check back on my channel and you'll probably see. But it's this colour here, it's quite a pale nude for me, I don't tend to go for like this pale of a nude colour, but I've really been liking it throughout the summer. I feel like when I'm a bit paler it might wash me out a bit, but yeah, I've really been enjoying it. The only thing is it doesn't last that long, like it won't last if you're eating and drinking and stuff, so you do have to reapply it a few times throughout the day, but... I don't really mind that because sometimes with liquid lipsticks anyway they can get a bit too dry throughout the day so I don't really mind like having to reapply it. Um, I just really like the colour and the formula because it's like quite moisturising so yeah. The next favourite of mine is this little pink cloth. Okay, so this is called Magnetone and I know that a bunch of other brands do them as well um, and I think you can even get like this type of thing in Primark but it's basically a microfiber cleansing cloth that you run under water and then it literally removes all your makeup. If you aren't subscribed to my second channel, I did do a video where I showed me like using this in one of my vlogs recently and it just works so well. I don't understand how. Like I genuinely am baffled as to how it works, but it just you run it under the water and then it removes like your like mascara, it removes your eyebrows, it will remove liquid lipstick. I just don't get it, but it, this can literally like take off my whole face. And also the good thing about this is you can use it like six times uh, before you wash it. So you use like one face, two face, three face, and then you flip it. And so you can use it for six days in a row and then you chuck it in the washing machine and apparently you can reuse it up to a thousand times, which is obviously so much more environmentally friendly than using makeup wipes. Um, I'm still using makeup wipes, but when I'm at home, I've been using this and I'm honestly like, it blew my mind. I don't understand how it works, but it's really cool. And then the final favorite of mine is actually a food one. Let me just unwrap it because I'm gonna have to eat one. These are Haribo peaches. I got these in Walmart when I was in America, and oh my god, I don't know if we have these in the UK, but they are so delicious. They are the nicest Haribo sweets ever. Like, I'm not that much of a sweet person, but I do really like Haribos. When I say I'm not that much of a sweet person, I mean like actual sweets. I have such a sweet tooth, but they're just so good. Like, they're the nicest gummy sweets I've ever had. You're just you're gonna die. Like, they're so nice. Mm. Okay, so that is it for my favourites video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to know your favourites down below. Also, remember to check out the Body Shop competition details. They are all over on my Instagram and they're linked in the description box as well. I cannot wait to meet whoever wins. I think it's gonna be such a good day, so I really hope that loads of you guys go and enter. Um, and yeah, that is it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!